in Objective 9 problems, each one of these problems will involve an IV infusion rate. This rate may be in the form of milliliters an hour or drops per minute, but in each case the goal will be to establish flow. What you'll notice about the difference between Objective 9 and Objective 10 problems is that in all Objective 9 problems your IV is not flowing or you're being asked to take the steps to calculate a flow rate to figure if it is correct. In this problem, a physician orders 3 milligrams per minute of lidocaine supplied in 1 gram and 250 milliliters. The question is, what is a milliliter an hour flow rate to deliver the medication the way it is ordered. So the toolbox would be 3 milligrams per minute, 1 gram in 250 milliliters, and the question of milliliter an hour flow rate. Though this seems simple enough, milligrams, grams, minutes, hours. There are a few things that must be changed before this will fit into a ratio of a portion problem. Knowing that I'm delivering my medication by an hour, I'm going to convert this to an hourly rate by 3 milligrams multiplied by 60 minutes. So I would need 180 milligrams per hour based on this order. The other thing is I need to change this gram to 1,000 milligrams. Because it is still in 250 milliliters, so this is the same as 4 milligrams per 1 milliliter. Now that I know how much is needed per hour and the bag supply that it is coming from, I'm ready to put my problem together. To do this, I have on my left side 4 milligrams per 1 ml. I need 180 milligrams per hour, so I'm solving for how many, and this is fill in the blank, milliliters per hour. As long as my problem labels match, milliliter to milliliter, milligram to milligram, and on the end hour to hour, this problem is able to be worked. x equals 45. I go back up, verify x was milliliters per hour to make sure I get the right label, and then verify by looking at my toolbox question to make sure I'm done. I was looking for milliliters an hour. I have established a milliliter an hour rate.